the, um, the philosophy of a starfish organization. We have independent working cells that all subscribe to um, a given philosophy about how to get things done, right? That there is a format for how things get organized, how things get put together, and it's up to that community to organize and decide you know, how to represent that spark. So these are organizing groups that also come out with um, key content areas. SparkCon's definitely been on the open source platform because it allows us to bring in folks with smaller expertise to create something much bigger than we could by programming or planning it all ourselves. We have a lot of collaborations um, happening with artists. This with us, it's with artists and engineers or artists and programmers and stuff like that. So it's kind of where technology and artistry is kind of converging together. With, even within the Sparks, there's a lot of collaboration. So artists are getting with musicians and creating something or um, graffiti artists are getting together with the bar people so they can have some kind of, you know, kind of explosion event or something like that. So there's, there's a, lot, a lot of cross-pollination going on. So that's, I think that's the most exciting thing is kind of seeing these people coming from different areas and coming together. I think at first it was sort of hard for people to understand. It was hard for us to describe. Sometimes it's embarrassing, you know, this commitment to process over content. Open source is a has been great for us that the idea is that the community decides ultimately what the content is that gets generated and that's what we've been dedicated to that same spirit and I think now because there's other people doing that in different strata um, it's been great because I think people are beginning to understand that we're dedicated towards process. We learn something new every day during SparkCon because there's no way I can even imagine what folks are out there doing in the creative community so they can bring their little bit and add it to what is, you know, happens over those four days. Openness is very important to SparkCon because we want to see what's out there. We want to use it as a showcase of the Triangle's talent. So if we're open to new ideas and new artists and new performers and new organizers, that showcase just becomes more real and a better storytelling arm of what the creative community is doing. The more people we have locally that are helping us, the better. And it's not only be involved as a volunteer or as an organizer, um, it's, you know, participate with your work. Uh, if you're an artist or, you know, you have some kind of creative talent that you want to express, get involved that way and participate in the call for talents.